For the best gameplay capture there is, pick up an Elgato today. Links are in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bugs here. Welcome to another episode of the Newcastle Career Mode in FIFA 17. Big games coming up today, boys. We've got Chelsea away at the Stamford Bridge. We'll get that sorted out. And then the replay, unfortunately, in the FA Cup. First round that we're in it, but we drew Arsenal. Probably the only games that we're going to play once again. We only really are going to be covering a week in this episode, but it's because... Hopefully, we should be doing a fair bit of transfer business. I don't know. We'll see if we can pick up. Hopefully, maybe make strides to get a new goalkeeper. And maybe, who knows, potentially get a certain superstar. It looks quite likely that we're going to be selling Tim Krull since he just will not sign a new contract no matter what. So we're trying to sell him in January to get a little bit of cash for him. And hopefully with the cash that we do get for him, I might be able to buy another goalkeeper. Now, I really wanted to get Geronimo Rulli, but he's going to be so expensive, we have no idea. So I've decided to look at other goalkeepers that are a little bit younger, a little lower rated than the 85 rated Rulli, but hopefully still going to be good. And I found three goalkeepers, quite young, good potential that are both in the last year of their contract as well, so we could get on the cheek. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the big one. If we can pull that off, that will be massive, but he is in the last year of his contract. All of these players we're scouting right now, we're going to find out more toward the end of the month, so I might not go for any of these players just yet. I do want their stats and their value and the info and all that sort of stuff. We also have another goalkeeper, Andre Onana. What's the name? Onana... What's the name? And Kepa Ariza Balaga is another goalkeeper that we could pick up as well. All three I'd be happy with. I'll take either or. Donnarumma, obviously, I imagine would probably be the favorite. Uh, definitely not that realistic, but still, either of those three I will take. Pretty much whoever I can get the best deal for. That's just me, mate. Me and the art of the deal. That's just how it goes. Anyway, moving on. Before we play the first game against Chelsea, I'll let you know the player at the end of the previous episode was indeed Ferdinand. If you did get him correct, congratulations. A couple of people that did are just going to show up there. And of course, if we can hit the like target of 2,000 likes, as it always is every episode, if we can hit that target, I'll upload a brand new video. Alrighty then, first game today, it's against Chelsea, it's away, and bloody hell, we have gone through a pretty rough time. I have not won a game in like the last two episodes. It's been pretty bad. To be fair though, we've played some pretty freaking good teams in, the, in that stretch. We played Manchester United in the last game? No, we played Arsenal and Manchester City. That's right, we played those two in the last episode, pretty tough games there, and now we're about to play Chelsea and Arsenal again. It's not getting any easier, but hopefully some at some point, We'll be able to get another three points. Who knows? Let's go. So we're playing Chelsea then. And what about their starting 11? Victor Moses, Cahill, Azpilicueta, Baba. That, yeah, you know what? That's pretty much their best team, isn't it? I don't think they're missing too many other great players in there. Like maybe Pedro not starting. Marcus Alonso has been all right for them. Michi Batshuayi, a couple other players. But no, that is probably their best team. They are not taking it easy on us this time. That is for certain. Here we go. I'm going to hope, and hope is the word here, that I can pull off this... Free kick. Nah, it needed to be a bit more powerful, but... Oh, it's hit the wall. Wow. Just got that pass off in time. Another one. Could take a pop from distance with Shelby. It's on... Not on target. It goes over the top of the crossbar. I want to set up Shelby there. He's not really running, though. Ball up in the middle this time. Could be... Oh, my God. It's blocked. I thought he had enough time to take the shot without it being blocked, but somehow I think David Louise must have got something on it. Yes, he has. Oh, wow. How about the dribbling? I thought we'd lost that, but no. Still going. Shelby, what a flick on. This might be tough. Oh, Lamar was hoping for the curve back. We did get it, but it was just a bit too wide. Space. No, I'm not going to take the shot. Don't do it. Figure something out here. Back to him. Back to him. Back to him. Back to him. Mm, he didn't pass it straight away. He took a touch. He didn't react quick enough. And that's that. Good cross that. Tim Krul, no. What are you fucking doing, Tim Krul? Oh, my God. He didn't even get the ball back. Pedro, tackle. All right. We're going to survive that. My God, Tim Krul. Oh, maybe it's a good thing that you're going to fucking go. Jesus. Maybe now. Maybe now. What is that? Oh, no. Can someone tell me why he didn't clear that ball? Why couldn't he? I ran right past him with Lazar. Saar has his back turned to goal. Game is a piss taken moment for me. I'm just in one of those, one of those times when career mode just does not. It just fucking no. They've done fuck all all game, and then they whip that one in, and that's that. And it's again last 90th minute goals that I'm conceding all the fucking time. Man City in the episode, not yes, not last one, but the one before that. 
And now this one, and that this time it's actually lost us the game. And this team is useless. I don't know what the fuck is happening. But I'm about done with this game. And this whole series. Don't know what is happening. We were on top and killing it at the start of this Premier League season. Now, it is so hard. We're misplacing passes. We can't get the ball back. It is just so fucking shit right now. I can't put my finger on it. And I swear, I haven't even been playing that badly at times. It's just certain things in this game that just keep on preventing us from scoring. Look, I'm clearly not playing at my best. That is pretty apparent, obviously, because if I was, I'm always going to be able to beat the game no matter how tough it may seem. I'm sure I could get it done. But whenever I'm really fucking shit and really, really shocking, I'm normally pretty honest with it because I'm, I normally want to admit it to myself, say, okay, you're playing like fucking garbage, sort yourself out. But I genuinely don't feel I'm playing as badly as what some of these games have been going. I don't know how I'm just consistently getting these results. When I'm going through one of those periods where I'm beating like Arsenal 5-0 and 4-1, I'm not holding back. Sometimes I genuinely do because I don't want it to get too ridiculous. Next time that happens, I'm beating Arsenal by fucking double digits or a team like that. I don't give a fuck, not holding back. Something tells me I'm not just going to magically spring out of this though. I think I need to just somehow fucking grind out a win, somehow. And if I can do this against Arsenal, get through in the FA Cup, maybe it might be the start of a fucking new beginning. Maybe we get out of this funk, maybe games aren't the absolute cunt and fucking grind that they are. Quite a fair rotation for this game against Arsenal too, by the way. I'm not making it easy for myself, that's for sure. But we have a lot of players that are quite tired, and we're playing another game only four days later. And I forget who exactly it is, but it's not against like an Arsenal, a Chelsea, a Manchester United, Man City, a Tottenham. I don't think, you know, they're one of the tougher teams. And no, it's not a Liverpool either, don't worry. It is, it's, it's not one of the top, top teams. Hopefully it's a game that... There's no excuse for not winning, if you know what I mean. So, I want to rest my starting 11 for this game. If we get through in the FA Cup, then fucking whatever. I knew the second that we drew Arsenal in the FA Cup in the third round, like the first round that we compete in, I thought, fuck this. It's not going to be pretty. It's going to be really tough. But either way, Newcastle versus Arsenal at home, St. James Park, rotated team. I'm not normally good with the second team, but still, let's see what happens. So here we go again then. This time, we're going to, no matter what, have someone going through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. Will it be Newcastle or Arsenal? Stop doing that, you fucking Dutch cunt! Just grab the ball all the fucking time. Stop palming it away. You can grab it, can't you? How about this? We could be away here. Armstrong's got the pace. Can he turn in on him? Not really. Chances. We're winks and... Oh, he's belted it past Chesney at the near post. 10 minutes in, we've got the goal. The former Tottenham man has blasted it by Wojciech Chesney. We have scored a goal in this game. It is 10 minutes in and we still have plenty of time to you know fucking what. Bloody chuck it up again. Let's not let that happen. Oh, this is some move here. I'm liking this. Armstrong, tight angle. He'll go for it! A lot of me thought that was going to end up top left. Oh, chance here. Big chance here. Maybe a chance for two. Can I sweat this across? I've only gone and done it, and he's only gone and put it right at the keeper. That got fucking messy. I've got about three players on yellow cards as well. Seriously, you'll see them pop up quite a fair bit. Could be the moment this. Could be. I use Imperius. We'll make it two. There's the breathing space. Right out of the gates in the second half. He's done it. Our first attack has resulted in a goal. Uh, it's just a very good pass and a good touch by Perez. The, the ball coming in from behind him takes the touch and finishes at bottom right hand corner, or at least you know from where he was shooting, or bottom right hand corner that time. There you go. Why am I? Why am I talking? It's two nil. Chatting a bit of shit, but either way, we have now finally been able to, I think, rectify the absolutely horrible form that we have been in recently. And can we make it better for ourselves? Who knows? Aaron's is going to turn in. Still really can't shoot though. Don't have much on still. Maybe now with Haidara, a tough one. I was going for the other side of the goal, but still a save. And off to the left now, Savet. That's a good, decent ball in Aaron's across. It'll get there. Headed by Ayose again. Right down the throat of the keeper. Every fucking shot that I've taken, or the last couple, have all been. Through the middle. This could be it. Wrap it up, please, son. Do it, Ayose. Bang. Oh, right into the path of again, Alex. Oh, I mean, fucking Chesney. It's just been right to him every fucking time these last few. Finally, we get a chance with Gale to tap on him, uh, into an empty net, and that is that then. I mean, the finish could have been better. It was a nice save, but yeah, either way. We had to. We literally had to get an empty net. That was the only way that we were having to beat Chesney recently. But there you go. Chesney has actually been like sensational. We're definitely making it easy for him with all these shots going right to him, but Saar uh, automatically heads that one, and that one goes over the bar. 
Just waiting for the referee to blow the whistle now because any second we are going to be going through into the next round of the FA Cup, knocking out Arsenal. We've had a great record against them. Away goes Gale here. Chasing is Javi Martinez, who's not that quick of a player. Gale could go the whole way here. You know what? That is totally unnecessary. What the fuck am I thinking? You know what? Put that in. Put that in, you absolute fucking melon. I'm talking to myself here. You absolute stupid cunt. Why would you sweat that? Why did you think Perez was going to be able to get there? To be fair, I actually wasn't trying to pass to Perez. I was trying to pass to someone else. But it was stupid. It was unnecessary. I didn't need to do it. I'm a cunt. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Hopefully, me putting this in is going to stop me from doing it and being a fucking flop. Anyway, there you go. I should have gotten you a brace, Gale. I'm sorry. But either way, a 3-0 win against Arsenal. I would have been out. I could have nearly beaten them 4-0. I could have beaten them 4-0 again, and that would have absolutely taken me out of my funk. Hopefully 3-0 is enough, but we're in the FA Cup. We're still going. We had 14 shots, 10 on target. They had six shots for the whole game with only one on target. The possession, I think it was pretty evenly uh, matched, although we had a fair bit of it toward the end there. The passing and everything, it just felt better. It didn't feel at its best. We didn't wallop them 5-0, 4-1 as we did before, but it's better. And how about this? Immediately after we play Arsenal, they come straight in for an offer for Adam Armstrong. Mate, I'm not selling him, not for that not for that ridiculously cheap anyway. And waiting to hear back from all of the players that we've gone in for. We only have four days left until the end of the episode. A transfer off for a player, I think I'm looking alone. Fiorentina, 7 million for Krull. It's just insane how low I have to sell him for. They're accepting 10.5 for Dwight Gale, though. That's interesting. So we're selling on Dwight Gale. That's going to bring in a little bit of extra cash. Hopefully, we can play around with. Toulouse, 6.5 for Tim Krull. I'm just going to accept 7 million now because I can't be fucking asked. Andre Sabet has also come out and said, I request to be transferred. Almost like a bit of a jumping before being pushed thing there because I'm trying to get rid of him anyway. And then he's like, boss, I'm, I want to go. And I'm like, we were selling you anyway, mate, but okay. Basically, the football equivalent right there of, you can't fire me, I quit. Transfer offer for Andre Sivet right there. We have got Nice. They want 6.5 mil extra on top for Remy Walter. We could maybe do something with that. Uh, they want 35 mil on top for, no, that's not happening. And Fabinho, they're just not accepting at all. However, though, bloody Everton have come in and said, we'll pay 13 million for him. Well, what if I really took you uh, all the way? And let's go with 20 mil. If I could sell him, for more than the value of the trade and you know the extra cash on top and all that shit, then maybe I might do it. And again, Southampton, again, I'm, I know I'm asking for quite a fair bit here, but 20 million. Another day advanced. And again, let's take a look. Transfer offer for Florian Tobin. That's interesting. Nice have straight out rejected the trade for Casillo, so that's not happening. RB Leipzig, uh, again, uh, unacceptable for Naby Keita and nothing else. And also in talks with Southampton, a $23 million offer for Kazilo. How much is he worth again? Oh, he's pretty much worth... Okay, so they've accepted an offer that is basically his value. In that case, I'm not going to get him for any cheaper. One more day left until this game against West Ham. This is where we're going to leave it, but hopefully we can still get something done. I don't know. We're getting shitloads of emails coming through. How about it? Seven in the end. We've got two plays being sold. We've got transfer offers again. Maxime Lopez and Diame, a player I might look to get rid of. Player sold, Tim Krull, he's finally gone. That means we now need to get in another goalkeeper. We're going to have to go with Carl Darlow for the moment. And we've also got Dwight Gale going for 10.5 mil. He wasn't growing. He wasn't getting any higher rated. He was getting on a bit, getting older. We have plenty of great strikers. We don't really need him. And yeah, so there you go. Even though he did score in his last game. So that's sweet. And then again, what else? The on race event situation. Uh, yeah, we're trying to move him on, obviously. Well, hopefully we can get him for Remy Walter. But here we go then. I finally ended the episode with a win. I finally got a win. We kept on going in the FA Cup, knocking out Arsenal 3-0. Could have been 4 if I wasn't an absolute dickhead and didn't end up sweating that last chance. I feel, I feel I just stuck it in the bottom corner, but still. Anyway, though, we are finished here. West Ham is the next game in the next episode. And you know what? I think I'm leaving. I'm not just leaving it here. I'm hopefully going to be wrapping up the entire January transfer window in the next episode. But until next time, guys, wrapping up the January transfer window in the next episode. Hopefully, we can still make a few more signings, including maybe a new goalkeeper. We will see, but still. Until then, my name is The Master Bucks. Before we let you go, it's time for another Guess the Play segment. If you know who this player is off his career timeline, then you might get featured in the next episode if you do get him correct. And until that next episode, my name is The Master Bucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good one.